assalamu alaikum guys hope you're doing well uh, welcome in the next video so in this video we are going to learn about how to add our payment card in the app so this is basically end output of the video if i click on payment history you guys will be able to see the cards that you have added in the app so you can see a nice decorated cards with all the information like mastercard card number valid through and name of the user when you click on the card you will be able to see uh, the cvc that you have entered but in this case it is off secured so without wasting further time let's get started so as usual uh, let me go to the payment screen so this is the screen that i have created already and you guys can see on the right side in emulator so i have few variables that is uh, required for the card to show uh, <clears throat> so for this purpose uh, make sure to install a package inside pubspec.ml file uh, the package is known as flutter credit card and this is the package and it shows a nicely nicely created widget this one so basically it support both polymorphism and non polymorphism design so please go through this documentation i hope you guys will be able to implement it so uh, this is the payment dot dot is basically file that contain this screen so what i have did is i uh, just created a container uh, with the full width and full height of the screen after this i have created or uh, used green intro widget without logo this is basically the background green color and my card is passing from parameter and then i have used a list view dot builder because you guys can see i have few cards right over here which are scrollable so this is achieved by using list view dot builder i have provided some uh, constraint like uh, i need uh, 120 pixel from top and 80 pixel from bottom of the screen so you guys can see right over here i have some spaces and from top if i scroll the card you guys can see it is right over here so in order to show in order to make the view uh, beautiful so i have provided some constraints after doing this i just created a credit card widget that i have used right from here okay guys and uh, after this i have just created a very simple widget that contains a row and text widget and floating action button so after this video what i will be doing is when user click on this button add new card so we will uh, redirect user to this screen so user will be able to provide their card information and then we will store this information in firebase after storing information in firebase uh, we will get uh, actual user data so then i will again work on this screen in order to show the saved information so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video and if you guys have not subscribed the channel i request that please subscribe the channel uh, thank you so much